YouTube, Tech Intimidation. Today we're going to be talking about two tips to help speed up your home internet network. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into your router at home. There's various methods for doing this. Normally you just want to look at your router at the bottom or the back and there will be an uh, IP address or some information listed there on how to log into it. For mine, I just have to go to routerlogin.net, type in my name and password, and that will get me in. So the, the change we want to look at is under basic settings, and you're going to look for the DNS address, the domain name server address that you are using. Currently, mine is getting it automatically from my service provider, and it's the two addresses listed right here. These are the ones given to me by default from my internet provider. So let's first run a test and just see where we're at with how fast our internet currently is. So the best way that I know of to test your internet speed is go to speedtest.net and just run a test from that website. It's going to do two different things, or actually three different things. First, it's going to give you a ping number, which is how fast the signal is going out and getting back to you. Uh, it was 26 milliseconds, which is pretty good. Then it's going to try and download a file, and over the course of anywhere from 15 seconds to a minute or two, give you an average speed. So my download speed was 16.4 megabits per second. And then it's going to test your uploading speed, which is a speed if you would take a file from your computer and upload it to the internet. That's There's two different speeds going here, one down and one up. So now it's testing the up speed and it gave me 6.11 megabits per second. So a pretty good result. But let's make a change and see if it helps us at all. This is the first change. So what we're going to do is manually set the DNS server to use Google's public DNS server they're known for being a lot faster. The two addresses you want to use are 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Those are the two addresses. And just apply that change. Have to wait a few moments here. So now the change has been made. The DNS servers are 8.8.8.8.8.4.4, the two public DNS servers from Google. Let's see if it improves our speed. Remember, we had 26, 16.4, and 6.11. Let's make a new page, speedtest.net. Here we go. Let's begin the test. Ping results 26, so far it's the same. Download speed looks like it's going to be just about the same as well. 16.18 versus 16.4. And upload speed I'm going to bet is going to be just about the same as well. So while this change may not provide uh, a dramatic upgrade in speed, I think that over time you will find that this is a more reliable DNS server to use and uh, would be a positive change for you. The other change we can make, which will be more dramatic, is if you go to your wireless settings on your router and then look at your security encryption options. And currently I'm using WEP. If you switch from WEP to WPA2, you will see a, an increase in the speed available to you. So I'm gonna change it from WEP to WPA2 and make a passphrase. Make the passphrase TechNet. Oh, it's gotta be eight letters. Let's make it tech speed and apply that change. So because I changed the password and the method 
of uh, encryption and security, I'm going to have to reconnect to my wireless network here. So my wireless signal just dropped out. We're going to wait just a few more seconds to give it a chance to come back up. So I'm going to try and reconnect to it. So you may have to turn your Wi-Fi on and off to get it to reconnect. So now I need to type in my password, which was tech speed. Very important that you remember what you changed the password to. And the wireless should connect here in a second. And there it is. Let's just confirm that we have an internet signal or connection by going to a website. We'll just go to CNN.com and there it is. So that's working. So remember our first two results were 26 ping, 16 down, and 6 up. 26 ping, 16 down, and 6 up. Let's run a third test now with the change to our security encryption from WEP to WPA2. And let's do the test. Ping is the same, still at 26, but already we can see that our download speed is up to 30 megabits per second, where before we maxed out around 16. So changing our encryption type has dramatically increased the speed. Now, if, if you didn't have that available speed and were already maxed out, um, this may not help you, but if you did have that available speed that was being limited by the security encryption type that you were using, uh, you will see an improvement. So while neither one of these tips may be the magic bullet, they're both good things to try to help speed up your internet connection on your home network. So that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching.